I swear to God, I wasn't really uh, going for HAL 9000 impersonation here. Hi, I'm Matt and this is 9 Tech. Today we continue our experiments with uh, Zigbee 2 MQTT and this is CC2531 Zigbee Sniffer I've talked about and flashed before. So if you have one and you want to flash one without buying a Depot Go or something like that, there is a link in here. Just follow it and in three minutes you'll be ready to do whatever I'm doing right now. So uh, with that in mind, uh, let's talk about a Zigbee protocol. You know I have uh, Agara devices like this cube or a button and I have a IKEA stuff like this switch and both working off the box uh, with this. They are supported with a library and all you have to do really is pair it. And I'm not going to go through pairing process because all it really takes is plug this in, get this close, press reset, hold it for a few seconds and all the description instructions are already listed out there. What I'm going to talk about is this. And I promise this is not HAL 9000, it's a shoddy job. This is actually a spotlight or downlight and it is equipped with LED Zigbee driver. It's RGB, it's really bright, really cool and I like it. It's going to be a full review of this light and why do I think it's awesome. Now, because it's a Zigbee and because it's a, some uh, Chinese brand I never heard of, doesn't mean it's bad, uh, we need to connect it to the sniffer. And that's what is this video about, because this device, it's not listed on the list of supporting devices, which means we have to add it as a new device. Thankfully, Zigbee comes with some sort of standards, which means this is not as hard as you think. It took me a while to figure out, and my tip is, keep this very close to your MQTT to Zigbee stick because uh, Zigbee to MQTT stick because uh, after being fed up for a while I went uh, downstairs to continue in the more comfortable environment eating some food and working on this and I spent the next two hours trying to troubleshoot this while this was outside of the range. Oh, don't do this. Anyway, now that I'm in the same room as my MQ uh, as my uh, Zigbee stick. I'll show you how to get that connected, how to add new devices and how to use them in Node-RED. So what happens when you have a device that isn't supported off the box and you have to add it yourself? First of all, you should check the manual for device how to reset it. So in this case, there is a small reset button. All I have to do it is hold it until it bleeps. Now, keep your MQTT, uh, Zigbee to MQTT stick quite close. Uh, and then proceed to reset the device. So in this case, for this LED driver, all I have to do is press the button, hold it a couple of seconds, and it will blink. Now, in your message log, you'll see uh, that a new device has been detected. However, uh, this mm, it's not going to be added without uh, further configurations. Now, it will uh, tells you that there is a new device connected. It will give you a message for this device and it will also tells you to check uh, a reference manual how to add a new device. Uh, you are fortunate enough. I'm using uh, I'm using the um, Docker in here. We don't have to use the Docker. It's just it gives me uh, feedback from the command line. That's all it is. That's why it looks so strange. But this is the information you're going to be given uh, when a new device is added, but it's not supported off the box. Now, uh, to add this device, there's a couple of things you'll have to do. Uh, first of all, in your installation, if you run a Docker, you probably have to access this in a special way. What I did, I've copied the file out of the Docker, so I could edit it on my uh, local machine and uh, add, add new devices. But first of all, you have to change the name in configuration. Now, in a configuration uh, YAML file, uh, you have to just navigate to your Zigbee installation, you'll see configuration YAML. Uh, open that file and once you've paired it you should see this device being at the end of yours and you can add it a friendly name so let's call it spotlight okay and spotlight one and let's close it now once this is done the configuration won't apply until you restart your zigbee so i'm going to restart it now so all you have to do in my case is just because I'm running a container, just restart the container. And then if I'm going to go to a log, you'll see 
that this device is going to be called now a um, Spotlight 1. This means it's already on the light and you can see it in here. Right, that's not end of it because we cannot still control this. Now, in order to control this device, we need to add it to devices. Now, if you're uh, running in a running in a container you have to dig into a container and get the file there copy it out and edit it and send it back if you just running a normal node rate installation you'll be able to navigate to this path and get a file called setting uh, sorry devices J, uh, js so you will see a template in here i've added it uh, already this uh, device it's called zemi smart and this is the configuration now um, there isn't much, mm, what you have to really add is the model and the Zigbee model is gonna, is gonna be uh, from the back of the case, some information descriptions, but the most important, it's gonna be these two lines. Now, you've noticed I've commented them out because there is another way you can do it. I found that this driver works. And where did I get this configuration from? This extent, basically, it's a ready library that fills in the from Zigbee and to Zigbee parameters. Now, if you scroll up to a very beginning of this file, you will see these configurations available. First, you have a generic configuration, then you have a GLED opter, and then you have hue configuration available as well. Now, those are three default different drivers, and if you look closely into mine, you will see that they are actually adding those two lines. They are adding a from Zigbee and they are adding to Zigbee. And in my case, I was actually able just substitute because I've tried all three. It's really quickly. I've tried all three and I was able to substitute that into the uh, my con configuration. So all I had to do is just use the command extend, then use the um, the prefix, which is GLED opto, and then supported protocols because this has brightness, color temperature and color overlay and that's how basically it works for for my light uh, so i can toggle it on and off i can set the colors and set the brightness levels so it seems to be working fine with the bright brightness levels and colors so that's the um file i've picked so once you do that uh, push the file back to uh, correct directory and then obviously you can uh restart your zigbee now a couple of uh words of notice sometimes you'll be asked to make conversions of the uh, of your values this is not something i had to do and in all honesty i have not something i know how to do it yet because i didn't come across uh, any device in my collection that required it so if i'm gonna come across something that needs this i'll learn some more and i know you'll have to translate the values we receive into values that the system can read uh, there are uh, tutorials online on the zigbee to mqtt so uh, you can uh, try and see if that helps you out to establish proper communication with my uh, zemi smart download i didn't have to do it it worked directly as it is so once you've got this uh, all you have to do is just go restart your zigbee so let's do that really quick and then go to your node red and then we can start pushing the information in and out now it's quite easy so for example if you want to set a stat status you sending a status to zigbee to mqtt which is my default mqtt um, topic then the device name in this case this is spotlight one and then uh, there is a set command which means we're gonna set it and in a similar manner when we're gonna get the device uh, information we have a zigbee to mqtt which is default uh, we have a spotlight one and we have get so let's deploy it and let's try it out and as you can see the lamp went off and uh, let's turn it on the lamp is on let's change the color to orange works so how do you change the colors you have a couple of ways you can actually adjust the values i've picked the hex because the hex is the easier to pick and this is the format of your um json that you're supposed to pass to mqtt in order to operate it so you have your state you have your color uh sorry you have your brightness you have a temperature color for the brightness and you have your actual hex color and uh, you can also work with rgb values and also like uh, 
x, y and x, z values to set the colors with two variables. Uh, you can pick your own um, method. Like I said, hex is good enough for me and that seems to be working just fine, so that's why I went for it. Lastly, what if you want to obtain the status from your new device? In this case, what you have to do, you have the command state, which you submit as a JSON. So a state and an empty uh, value, and you set it to the get request uh, via MQTT. So you're gonna get CP, your default um, topic, then the name of the device, and then get. Now, to receive this, uh, you have to read into the main channel of messages so Zigbee and then device name and if you set the message log to entire flow you will receive or even payload uh, you will receive the following status updates containing your state your link quality brightness colors into values and the color temperature if supported as well etc so that's how you add new devices to Zigbee uh, that's pretty much everything now like I said I was not able to try the conversions of the unit because my device is well supported and uh, uses the standard protocols so, so I'm sorry if you were looking for this information maybe next time when I have a different device uh, but if you're interested how to add the devices that are outside of the specified devices uh, then this is how you do it as for now guys thanks so much for watching I don't have a posting schedule so if you're interested in updates and videos and tutorials either follow me on social media or use the notification bell on YouTube to get alerted when I post something new thanks so much for watching again and see you next time take care